This is like some cool, like almost collector's worthy stuff. All right. Oh, there's two BQs. Oh! oh. All right, folks, welcome back. Today should be a fun video. We're doing a little celebratory Dunkin' Donuts because it is our last haul yep. on the uh, the move right there. It's looking a little uh, messy, but that is uh, mostly cleaning supplies, funny enough, but yeah. we're not going to bore you too much with the moving no. stuff today. I wasn't expecting anyone to like the mattress unboxing, but we got like 100 new subscribers in the first 24 hours. Really? Yeah. Maybe we should do more uh, boring stuff uh, more often, but uh, thank you guys for the support on yes. that video, I guess. But uh, today we are doing, speaking of unboxing, we are yes. doing a mystery <laughs> unboxing of some golf clubs, a super sketchy deal. Like, uh, I, it was the first thing that this guy sold on Mercari, and I put in an offer, and he accepted the offer. I think you have like 24 hours to accept it. Yeah. He accepted it like with 23 hours and like 59 minutes already elapsed. So like one minute <laughs> left. And like in that same time, he posted another listing. Sorry about the lighting here, whatever. But uh, uh, he posted another listing with the same exact clubs, and then he added like a bag and like a bag of balls, and it was like $200 more. So I have no idea what we're gonna get, but mystery boxes are always fun. Hopefully there's something good in there, but uh, yeah, we won't bore you too much. We'll meet you out at the course. Yeah, we're getting Dunkin'. We're getting first donut. Coffee. We're not getting donuts though, the bagels. Yeah, yeah. first coffee. All right, we'll meet you out at the course. <laughs> All right, folks, it's mystery box time. We made it out to the golf course. Uh, this one was $100. I saw a picture of a Ping I2 BQ two iron. So that basically will cover this. So whatever else is in there, there weren't very many pictures and very not very good pictures, mostly pictures of like the shafts and the grips, which is uh interesting. Interesting. But check out this box. Speaking of interesting, this is like one, two, three, four, five. It's like seven boxes. That's how he made this uh, box, but let's get in there and see what's in here. Last time we found a bunch of uh, ladies' clubs in one yeah, of these. Yeah, that was things. good for me. Yeah, that I think the driver's in your bag and the putter. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's see what we're playing with today. We're gonna play four holes with what's ever in here. Hopefully there's something good. The Ping I2 BQ 2 iron is like, that's a pretty dang good thing. So whatever else is in here, hopefully it's uh, as good as that. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm seeing something right off the bat. Whoa, oh, we literally just found one of these. We got this at a flea market for $20. All right, this is like all in groupings. We'll go uh, grouping by grouping, <laughs> I guess. Put that up here. That's a very unique box for sure. Yeah, all right. So we got a Callaway X460 10.5 Tour. We liked the uh, the regular version. I've never tried the Tour. So uh, yeah, between that and the uh, Ping I2 BQ2 iron, we're definitely uh, definitely broken even. We got an old school tailor-made burner three wood. We got a Nike uh, Sasquatch yeah, uh, the yellow down four there. hybrid. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't sound as bad as the driver does. Oh, we got the uh, old school Yonex. My dad had this driver. It's like a graphite composite head. Those things are uh, pretty cool. Well, we got a bunch of uh, woods. And they're not ladies clubs like they were last time. So we're off to a better, well, we're off to a different start. Different start. All right, next. Those were the shafts, not a big. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, I saw this wow. picture in there. It's like a handmade, the layered. I'm saying that wrong, but a handmade in St. Andrews, Scotland. It's got a, uh, I don't know if this is real, looks like a hickory shaft. That is super cool. And then it's a, uh, uh, I think this is laminate, yeah, but a uh, McGregor driver. And then what putter we got? Oh, sweet. A ping A blade. And what in the world? <laughs> what is it? Look at that. It, like cut it in half almost. What? How did. How, How do you even do it? that? And they look like they tried to like weld it back Solder. together with this uh, putter. I don't know how much this goes for, but that thing is really cool. Huh. You got a good look at that? Yeah, that's really cool. All right. So we're definitely good on whatever. I don't know. The ping putter is kind of weird, but we're definitely good <laughs> on uh, whatever we get. We're going to have to uh, get some scissors and uh, tuck, uh, cut the gut. Cut duck. the gut tape. Duck, duck tape. tape. Oh. All right. This looks like uh, I see a ping grip. So the ping uh, uh, BQ2 irons in here. So. Oh, we got some tailor-made grips. We got two ping grips. We got another putter, it looks like. Oh, three ping grips. <laughs> this is like some cool, like almost collector's worthy stuff. Uh, all right. Oh, there's two BQs. Oh! Oh! Oh, no. oh my! It is a ping I2 BQ lob wedge. 
Oh my god, this is, Ashley knows this is one of my holy grail yes. finds. Oh my, I saw the two iron in the picture. Oh my god, we're, we're a little loud. There's no one else out here. Uh, R7, we got a ping gorge uh, wedge. We got a uh, ping Karsten pitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you could buy these on eBay. They go for like 150 to 200 dollars, depending on like uh, what the like condition is and everything. Mm -hmm. But like finding them, like there's, there aren't very many clubs no. like better than this one in my books. Like I, like we like to collect certain things, and this is definitely one of them. This thing is like mint. Look at that. Almost looks like it's repainted. That's how good it is. Maybe it's repainted, but no, nah, the grooves look insane. <laughs> oh man, that is, dude. I think I got a little overexcited. No, but that's worth it. I don't the know if I want to hit it, it though. was awesome. Yeah, this is what I saw. The Ping Eye 2 BQ 2 iron. Easy for me to say, but... <laughs> oh, I need to calm down. <laughs> well, that was a very interesting mystery box all around. Yeah, the first mystery box, like, it was, like, good value, but this is, like... Uh, this has to be someone's... I don't know. I don't like, they got, like, happening. rid of their collection or something. I got a message like that seller and be like, hey... What's going on? Oh, we, I forgot to say we got this on Mercari. I don't know if I want to... Well, 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 yeah, I have no words for you. We'll meet no. you at the first hole. All right, I think John is still speechless on what we found in that mystery box, but the first hole is about 260 yards of going with the Callaway driver. Uh, I think that's the first time that we actually drove this green. We've gotten close, but I kind of want to kick it off so that we could use the uh, lob wedge. Yeah. But, uh, oh, look at the ball mark. <laughs> you don't often see, uh, for me at least, you don't often see a uh, ball mark with the uh, driver. No. That's what I was trying to say there. But uh, what are you going with? <laughs> the Laird. I'm the excited Laird. about this. The homemade Scotland putter. That's really cool. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Let's see if the world's greatest putter can knock in quite a long putt. We'll fix that ball mark here in a second. But, Ashley, let's see what we can do. Well, that sounded so pure. Did you just make that? Oh, no. It looked like it. Yeah, it looked like it made it. Nice. All right. Well, we uh, should have... Oh, that's not as close as I thought. We should have a makeable birdie putt. I was, I was going to say a tapping, but you guys know me. <laughs> There's a possibility. Yep. Oh, this looks so weird. Uh-huh. <laughs> Told you, it's not a guarantee. You try it. Alright, this is your tap in. Alright, next hole. We're gonna play from the tip, so I wanna hit that two iron. That was Ashley's tap in, so it's my shot next. Yep. I think it's like about 200 yards, so we'll play a little stinger two iron in there. Makes sense. I might change my mind, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> Oh, uh, that thing was uh, pretty in the air. Hopefully, yes. the shot tracer will look cool. It was a stinger. It was too much club, but it's world's fun to greatest. Watch. Yeah, <laughs> world's greatest putter. We're uh, definitely getting a workout with the uh, layered putter. You need to miss a green here, though. I really want to hit that lob wedge. If you guys haven't noticed or tell, that thing just sounds unbelievably pure. Be good. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I think Ashley has found a new putter. She doesn't need a new putter, but that one. <laughs> That one is pretty sick. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> All right, I think I can tap that one in. All right, John's super excited to hit that lob wedge, but I'm really liking that putter. It feels so pure. We got a par five coming up. I'm not reaching it in two. Going with the driver. Yeah, not reaching it in two, but we're still going with driver. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a little low stinger over there. Let's see if we could find the ball. The shot tracer never works here because it's dead into the sun. Ball is just on the right hand side of the fairway. Well, I don't know if you guys can see that because Shot Tracer never works because it's directly into the sun, so we tried to zoom. John says it was a stinger. I think it was a top, but one way or another, we have a long way in. John's gonna go with the Nike Sasquatch hybrid. Yep. Cool. <laughs> People can't see you drink. It's just a Coke, there's nothing else in there. But uh, that one felt really very strange. I thought I hit it way off the heel, but it went dead straight. I really just want to hit one of these uh, lob wedge. Well, not one of these lob wedge, the lob wedge. But uh, I think we'll probably have like a seven iron left. It's probably like 120 yards left. Well, we should have something. Yeah, in we that got range. one of the yeah the Taylor made R7, seven iron. Seven. Seven. R7. seven. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's right at it. We are definitely gonna have a lob wedge left in though. Yeah, I've never been so happy to miss a green before. <laughs>
Well, that one probably looked like a stinger and it stung, but we're gonna say I did it on purpose because this is the moment John's been waiting for. Finally gets to hit this love wood. Watch I like chunk it or, or <laughs> skull it. crazy. I'm excited. You guys probably couldn't care less, but I'm excited. Yep. <laughs> That was... <laughs> oh boy. That thing just glided right, right through that. It almost was like too good. <laughs> we'll have to hit another shot yes. with that. But if you guys aren't familiar with the Ping Out 2 BQs, it's like kind of an iconic club and a lot of like uh, Ping Tour players, they would like hoard them and collect them because they really like the soul grind and everything, especially the original one. This is the plus, uh, but uh, that was pretty awesome. You probably chip watch. with this. Yeah. I went with the big flop shot. I went, I went for the hero shot. <laughs> And uh, we still didn't reach the green. <laughs> oh, that's looking better than what I did, that's for sure. Nice shot. Yeah, normally we would uh, putt that. Normally I would putt that shot too, but that was a pretty dang good result. How'd it feel? That felt really yeah, good. Yeah, it just glides through like yeah, the ground so good. The uh, soul grind on it. It's that's an iconic awesome. club. I'm going to say even you could tap that one. Finally, we got good lighting. This is <laughs> nice. like a, it's like a thumbnail worthy uh, picture right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so that's my tap in your yeah. teeing off on the next hole for us cool. all right we're definitely gonna have to make this a two-parter it is 5 13 and uh the carts need to be in at 5 30 and these clubs definitely are worthy of some more but ashley has got our famous uh dog leg hole where i usually take it over the uh, houses but she's taking a more conservative and probably a better line than me that makes sense Another a stingers all day guys stingers all day stay in bounds. Oh We are gonna be playing a massive slice. We might actually hook it. I Don't know what we're gonna do, but there's gonna be trees involved <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be a stacked golf video if I didn't leave John behind the trees Although actually this time it's behind the trees and on a cart path. Yeah, so. I ain't hitting the BQs off the cart path no. Sorry guys, <laughs> you too, but I ain't doing that. No, definitely not we are inbounds and uh, we'll show you here in a second. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are on the card path and we are in the trees, but I'm going to take a little bit of relief right there. Although those stumps might come into play. We're going to play a big boomerang slice around here. I'm probably going to go with the uh, R7 6 iron. R7 7 iron maybe just for fun. But uh, yeah, the green's like over there. Yeah, that's totally my bad. Ah, it wouldn't be a stacked golf video without a, <laughs> me in the woods, like you said. It needs to find some nature though. Yeah. And you hear a dog in the background, that'll, that'll have to cut it. We're, we're running close on the uh, time here. Yep. <laughs> we good? We're either on the green or in the bunker. Well, we're not in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> a little Sergio run, he's a little bit more athletic than me. <laughs> oh man, we were right in line with the pin, but we just came up short. We're gonna play a little scramble uh, action right here to get, make things go a little bit quicker because probably not going to get it close once you see the shot but yeah. I'm going with the uh, ping out 2 BQ lob wedge. I just said it so often I got to spit say it fast so you guys don't get mad at me and Ashley's going with the uh, ping Carson pitching wedge a little bit more forgiving of a cool. soul so it bounces into it instead of gliding right through it. Glide. Glide. <laughs> and then they called the ping wedges the glide yeah. wedges. All right we're wasting time here let's uh, see if we can put it close. Oh get up there. <laughs> well we're out of the bunker but we are yeah, that that's I think we'd rather be in the bunker, but let's see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This thing just feels so good going through the ground and the sand and everything. I kind of don't want to hit this thing anyway. This might go into the uh just yeah. collection. Yeah, yeah, the collection. Also, I need to we'll work find on my a nine, bunker game. Yeah, we'll find a 9 uh a 9, a non BQ one. Yeah, we'll play that for a while. <laughs> or 9 out. No. I think we have one, but yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if one of us can knock in a birdie here. We're going to continue with the scramble theme. I think it's breaking to the left a little bit uphill. Oh, the battery's dying. we got to go. Hurry. Here we go. Nope. Somewhere in the middle of those two. Well, that's not going to carry. Go. I heard it carry, yeah. I didn't see it. Well, we definitely heard a thud, which is normally a bad thing, but in this case is very good. We should have a lob wedge left in, which I hit pretty good last time, so hopefully I can do the same this time. Oh, we're just off the front edge. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we should be good. Oh, spin, spin. That was, we're not gonna call it a skull, but it was pretty close. 
Oh, it went off the green though, so we can hit it again. Well, there you go. Hopefully you can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> you got us closer. Yeah. Wow. How did that not go in? <laughs> that thing barely got there. All right, what hole do you want to play next? I think we'll play the, the par three. Yeah, and then do... Yeah, par three, three and then nine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We're just kind of... We're going dragging. all over the place. We're making it our own coast. There's no one out here. Yeah. <laughs> all right, hole number eight here is 125 yards, or at least I hope it is because we brought the uh, Ping uh, Carson pitching wedge yeah. and a lob wedge and a putter. Left the bag over there because that's by the ninth hole. Yep. You guys probably don't care, but uh, <laughs> pins in the front. Man, this is uh, looking pretty here. Yeah. I haven't seen any nature for you guys today. Or else we would show you, but... Uh, and we even brought those like Zoom camera Yeah, for we it. brought it all for that, but I don't know. We <laughs> failed you guys, but let's see if we can put one close here. Club slipped out of my hands, but it's right at it. The club slipped out of my hands, but it still went right at the flag. I think if I uh, maintained the grip, I would hit it over the green. So <laughs> we got the zoom though. Yeah. We're still working on the uh, the whole camera situation. We like the GoPro just because it's easy, but it's kind of boring because you uh, can't really see where the ball lands a lot of the time. So we're trying for you guys, but I think we're going to have enough light. Also, the GoPro would be pitch That's black. That's what I was just going to say. This is much better than low light. <laughs> yeah, the GoPro would be pitch black right now. <laughs> but uh, Ashley, I mean, you have putted lights out of this thing. I'm not going to be... <laughs> She's the world's greatest putter, but this might put you world best putter in the universe or something. Yeah, because it's from like the home of golf. The home of golf, yeah. The Laird, <laughs> handmade in St. Andrews, Scotland. That's it's cool. pretty cool. You got a tricky putt here, breaking both ways and going downhill. But it's going to be a spectacular view. You guys are going to like this one. Yeah. This is our Arnold Palmer design course, and it is stunning right now. That is looking good. Go, go. Oh man, that thing broke back hard at the end. Well, like I said in the last hole, we turned a uh, birdie opportunity into a uh, struggle for par, Oops. as only we can do. <laughs> <laughs> Special talent. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, driver off the tee for you next. Yep. Man, I thought that thing was going to break yeah. back in. I have no idea where that ball went, but it felt really good. So hopefully it's in the uh, fairway. Oh, I see it up there. It's in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, I heard Let's... the thump. It's a very technical term. Yeah, thump. thump. <laughs> we're looking for the thump, or we're, we're listening for the thump today. We should play this as a scramble because I think it's a full lob wedge for me. Yep, I think that's yeah. probably a smart move. A smart move for sure because we'll probably lose one of them. It's getting dark out here. <laughs> GoPro would be pitch black. This yep. one still, I don't know if the focus is working very good. Oh, it's got you. Hi. But uh, you know, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, you've hit every single shot today thin, I think. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Actually, we're probably going to start just playing with your clubs from now on. Yes. Yeah, she's getting so good. I don't want to ruin her yeah, game messing with all rock. these different clubs, but let's see what we can do. Well, let's see what I can do with the, uh, the lob wedge. I'll say that after every shot. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking that we were going to lose one of the golf balls, and we almost did. Yeah. It was uh, right in that bush over there, but... We got about uh, 15 feet. World's greatest putter. You want me to go first or you? I'll go first. You'll go first? Give yep. me the line? Yep. All right, let's see what we can do here. Gotta, gotta stop saying that. <laughs> got a little bit of spin on that. I don't know if you guys can see the ball mark there. I will uh, repair that here in a second, but Ashley for birdie. Pretty good. Whoa, that broke way more than I thought. Yeah. It's brighter on the camera than it is in uh, my Real eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. No, that just oh, breaks nope. a ton. All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, folks, there you have it. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. I ended up going back on Mercari and I was gonna message the uh, seller, see if he had any more clubs. Yeah. And then I went back on there and something must have happened with the listing because I saw a picture of the, uh, the Ping I2 BQ 2 iron and the lob wedge. I don't know what that guy, like, and then he removed that other listing for like the same clubs that we talked about in the intro. I don't know Very what was going strange, on, but, but it I, worked out for us. Yeah, for how sketchy it was. I mean, the packaging was sketchy, and uh, there was actually a Cleveland high board that we didn't get that I saw in the pictures, but I'm uh, definitely uh, happier with the lob wedge than the uh, Cleveland high board. Well, that's a good club, but I uh, yes. hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Did you like it? That was your first time hitting the uh, oh, BQ yeah. one. That was pretty awesome. They're certainly pretty. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. See you.